So I'm back at the range with a second round of five shot groups because uh, when I was looking at the data that I got from the previous shoot, the numbers for extreme sprint and standard deviation were getting lower and lower and lower as I climbed in powder charge. So before I went from 58.1 to 58.5 grains, now I'm gonna go 58.6 to 59.0. So let's see how everything turns out. This first group is with 58.6 grains of powder. At 58.6, I had an oops. I uh, did not adjust my scope from the previous time that I shot it. So one of my five shots was not on paper because um, I had it set for shooting at 550 yards away. With that being said, the four shots that are in a group were at 0.59 MOA with a mean radius of 0.26 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.85 with an extreme spread of 30.35 and a standard deviation of 14.32. This five shot group is at 58.7 grains of powder. At 58.7 grains of powder, I had a group size of 1.16 MOA with a mean radius of 0.32 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.84 with an extreme spread of 32.63 and a standard deviation of 12.72. This five shot group is with 58.8 grains of powder. At 58.8 grains of powder, I had a group size of 1.28 MOA with a mean radius of 0.34 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.78 with an extreme spread of 21.47 and a standard deviation of 8.09. This five shot group is with 58.9 grains of powder. At 58.9 grains of powder, I had a group size of 1.04 MOA with a mean radius of 0.36 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.85 with an extreme spread of 20.38 and a standard deviation of 8.41. This five shot group is with 59 grains of powder. At 59 grains of powder, I had a group size of 0.91 MOA with a mean radius of 0.38 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.98 with an extreme spread of 35.08 and a standard deviation of 13.6. All right, we've got everything done. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the target, look at the data off the lab radar and uh, figure out what we're gonna end up doing. Stick around. So now that I've had my second shoot at the range, uh, going between 58.6 and 59.0 grains of the Stable HD powder, I've decided that the powder charge that I'm gonna use to move forward with this load development is gonna be at 58.8 grains of powder. 
I ended up having a standard deviation of only 8.09, which isn't terrible. And this charge is located on a pretty decent flat node uh, with the standard deviations. My next video is going to be loading bullet seating depth testing. Um, I'll be doing four shot groups anywhere between 20 thousandths from jam and 50 thousandths from jam. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, give me that thumbs up so that YouTube knows that you like my video. And hit the subscribe button with the bell icon so that you do know when the next video comes out. And until next time, shoot straight and be safe.